with more on how that community is striking back. Alex, tell us what's going on there. Well, Art, right now I'm actually joined by Ladarius Hilliard, uh, Carlos Ch Chavers, and also Frank Matthews, who are spearheading the men in Ensley patrol group that's happening uh, here tonight, this morning. And actually, Frank Matthews, I know that you were telling me. Uh, Hashtag men in Ensley. Hashtag men in Ensley. That's what I was telling you. And you were also saying that you've patrolled about 50 houses tonight. What has all been going on? What have you seen? Uh, absolutely nothing. Uh, we just actually got out and went around vacant houses, particularly ones that are on corners, because that's the nexus that the houses that have been burnt, all of them are on corners, and ironically, no vacant businesses. So we find the nexus, and then we talk to street intel, and the street intel we're getting is conflicting with the official intel that we're getting. So I don't know, but the street intel told us that it was uh, three African Americans, and he ran up on them, and he actually smelled. Um, uh, diesel fuel. Okay. So when we talked about that, how did this individual know that? So okay, and the investigation, of course, is ongoing at this time. But you guys have had eight volunteers out today, this need morning, more. and you need more. We had about eight. Hashtag Man in Isley. And Carlos' number, please call him. Give your number right quick, Carlos. Those who want to get involved. Yes, well, we. Mm -hmm. Carlos, I'm actually going to get that information okay, from you after do. our live shot. But of course, we're actually going to hear more from these activists throughout the morning. Frank Matthews will hear from him coming up at 530. So stay with us. We are live in Ensley this morning. Alex Finney, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.